welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am financial planner Canna Campbell. Recently, I have been inundated with DMs through my Instagram account asking how do we prepare our finances with everything that's going on in the world right now? And this is exactly what this video is all about. So before we begin, can you do me a massive favor and support me back by making sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and more importantly, that notification bell is switched on because every Thursday afternoon, I publish a fresh video for you so that I can make sure that you are continuously informed, educated and inspired to achieving your, all of your financial goals and dreams. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna recommend five different things you do right now to help protect, support and make sure you are on track to achieving your financial goals in the event we go to war. I'm also going to at the end of this video share with you what the three things I am doing in my own financial game plan to make sure I stay the course and continue on working towards achieving my own financial goals whilst also making the most of opportunities they may be presenting themselves right now. Step number one is to review and revisit your living expenses. That is go back to your budget and see what your cost of living is. That way, if anything changes in your financial situation, such as an increase in interest rate, increasing your mortgage repayments or your financial responsibilities, or an increase in one of your living expenses, such as an increase in petrol, or you potentially lose your job because of an economic uncertainty, you know exactly where to trim the fat in your budget and support your living expenses. Now, if you decide to do this right now for your own peace of mind, I recommend you proactively transfer those savings that you can create from your budget to achieving your financial goals right now so that you continue on maintaining the focus around your goals and getting ahead financially. My second bit of advice is to review your personal insurance policies. What are your personal insurance policies? All right. They are your life insurance, your TPD cover, your trauma cover, and most importantly, your income protection. It's important that you protect your financial well-being because when things go wrong and they spiral out of control a lot faster when you don't have the right protection policies in place. And quite often when things go wrong, it's too late to go and take out an insurance policy. So don't just insure the bare minimum, insure what is important to you. And of course, keep in mind the cost because you need to obviously factor that into your budget. But it's important you know exactly what protection you have in place and how much protection you have. Now, if you're ever wondering, all right, how much income protection should I have? How much trauma should cover should I have? Grab a copy of Mindful Money Number because I show you the tools to help work out exactly how much you need because there is no one size fits all. Everyone is in a very different situation with different needs and different levels of protection. So do what is right for you. And I promise you, those policies will give you great peace of mind and comfort in a highly anxious world right now. Step number three is to review and refresh your goals. One word that we heard a lot of in 2020 was the word pivot and we're all very good at it now. So this is a great time to see if you need to pivot with your own financial goals and your own financial strategy. Perhaps you've been saving a lot recently and now with everything that's going on, you think, okay, I'm ready to invest. This is a great time to reassess those goals and reassess that strategy. Or perhaps you've been investing a lot recently and you're starting to feel a little bit apprehensive with all the market volatility. So you now think, okay, I'm going to reassess my goals, refocus, reset, and focus on saving for the time being. Or perhaps you've been focusing on debt and you're now ready to start investing. Whatever you are doing, make sure that your financial goals and your financial strategy feels right for you. Step number four is to diversify your income streams. It is a great time to have a look at how much income you can earn through other walks of life. Think outside of the square. Whether you be in a nine to five salary or whether you work for yourself, this might be a brilliant idea to look at how you can bring in some extra money into your life right now. Extra money that can be put towards more savings perhaps, paying off more debt perhaps, or extra money that can be put towards investing, investing opportunities right now. So invest some time sitting down to brainstorm as many ideas as possible to bring in some extra money. Perhaps there are things you can sell. Perhaps you can apply for a new job. Perhaps you can apply for a pay rise. Perhaps you've got a new side hustle. You can do some freelancing work. You can put your services on Airtasker. There are so many amazing different things you can do these days to earn extra money. But whenever you earn extra money, make sure you proactively transfer them towards achieving your financial goals so that you don't accidentally go and spend that money or it gets diverted somewhere else without your control. Step number five is to focus on your passive income, your mindful money number, the bottom line to your 
portfolio. What is your portfolio paying you, not what is your portfolio worth? Right now, a lot of you guys who have subscribed to my YouTube channel are investors. You're investing in shares, you're investing in property, and you're watching your wealth bounce around like a yo-yo, which can feel a little bit nervous and apprehensive, and maybe you're starting to question your investment decisions. Please know that it's normal to feel like this, and you are not alone. So this is what I recommend you do right now so that you don't make any knee-jerk emotional reactions that may come with regret. I want you to look at your passive income. Look at your investments and ask yourself, how much passive income is my portfolio paying me and has this changed? I suspect that for a lot of you, if you've been investing in quality two-dimensional assets, your passive income hasn't changed. In fact, it may have even grown because you've stayed the course and you're continuously building your investment portfolio. That is what I want you to focus on because at the end of the day, it is doesn't matter what your portfolio is worth, it is what it's paying you because your goal is to build up enough passive income so that it more than covers your living expenses because that is what is going to give you true and authentic long-term financial freedom and independence because you're growing your mindful money number. So in these times of market volatility that can be scary, there are four things you can do right now. Number one is you do nothing. You turn down the noise and just focus on your passive income and hold on tight. The market will recover. Please don't worry. Just make sure you're properly diversified and you're making informed, educated decisions around your own goal. The second thing you can do right now is continue on staying as is, hold on tight, turn down the noise and do nothing. But in the meantime, with your surplus cash flow, build up savings so that you have some peace of mind and comfort knowing that you've got a growing bank account filled with cash. And perhaps you just hold off for the time being and adding any new money to the market if you are feeling anxious. The third idea is to maintain the course. Continue on doing what you're doing. Reinvest those dividends as you're going so that your passive income, your mindful money number continues to grow. Then the fourth idea is to really step it up. Raise your benchmark. And that is perhaps where you look at additional income strategies and actual additional investment strategies. Perhaps you look at ways to trim more money out of your budget, earn more income that you can put towards building your mindful money number and utilizing and capitalizing these potential discounts in the market being displayed right now from all the market volatility. Now, as I promised, I said I would share with you what I'm doing in my financial game plan to help achieve my financial goals, but also maintain a sense of peace of mind in a very uncertain world right now. Number one, I'm keeping a very close mindful eye on my investment investment debts. Now, I prefer my investment debts and my investment strategies to be either cash flow neutral or cash flow positive. So to make sure that they always err on the side of being cash flow neutral, or cash flow positive with potential interest rate rises, I am chipping away at those debts when it fits in my budget. It's not a major priority for me, but when I have additional money beyond my extra mortgage repayments, I'm slowly chipping away at those loans, being very mindful of any fixed rates, of course, and being mindful of obviously any tax involved. The second thing that I'm doing is I'm upping the ante on a home loan. I have gone back and revisited my income streams, look at additional ways I can bring in and earn some extra money in my life through consistently increasing my income as well as any lump sums that I can create, earn, hustle and manifest. And that money is going towards a home loan. So I can save a lot of valuable time and money in paying off our home loan so much sooner. Now, the third thing that I'm doing is debt recycling. Now, I've made numerous videos around debt recycling, so I'm going to link them in the video description box. I highly recommend revisiting these videos to refresh your mind because this can be a very, very powerful investment strategy. But I'm doing this in a very, very conservative way because I am mindful of interest rates going up and I don't want to ever overextend myself financially where the interest rates are too high and I can't keep going. Hence why I like my investments to be cash flow positive, self-funding and that they pay themselves off through the passive income. So what do I mean by conservative? Well, say for example, I come up with a lump sum of $10,000. I pay it towards my home loan and instead of redrawing that full $10,000 to go in and invest it, I'm redrawing a smaller amount, say $5,000. I'm taking that $5,000 and using that to invest in more shares in my portfolio so I can grow my dividend income stream. That is my passive income stream. So the reason why I'm doing these three different things, 
I'm taking a mindful eye over interest rate rises so that it doesn't impact or jeopardize my fi family's financial well-being and I have comfort and peace of mind and a sense of control seeing our overall debts coming down. I'm also making sure that I'm being proactive and stepping up to earn extra money in my life that I can achieve these goals quicker and more efficiently. I'm obviously making sure that I'm making the most of long-term buying opportunities potentially presented through these market pullbacks, market volatility and market corrections. So at the end of the day, our passive income is only growing. I really hope that this video gives you a lot more peace of mind and comfort. Please know that you're feeling nervous, you're feeling apprehensive. It's very, very normal right now, but go back and revisit your budget, revisit your income streams, revisit your goals, and of course, revisit, most importantly, your mindful money number, that is your passive income. All right, everyone, have faith, stay strong, stay positive, and I will see you next week for more financial inspiration, motivation, and education. I'm financial.